we set up our light plants in such a fashion that they were turned away from any residences. Um, the trucks that we'd be utilizing would not have tailgates on them, so that would not be uh, something we'd have to contend with. Um, definitely back with warrants and our equipment is not quiet, um, but we appreciate the consideration to allow us to do it kind of a, on a provisional basis. Um, we think that it would definitely be a net positive to everyone that travels on Morganza Road, but we understand that it would definitely be a net negative for people that live next to the project. Um, well, not necessarily, because if you're getting it done in a shorter period of time and it's not a huge impact, then it yeah. may be a net positive for them, but we have to see. Correct. If someone's driving through, they don't have to hear it. Right. Someone's here by the day, but um, we appreciate the chance to uh, have an opportunity. Um, additionally, good news on the project, we worked together with CDR and the Turnpike Commission um, to change some design that would minimize impact on Fellowship Drive so we won't be no longer disturbing asphalt and closing a lane there, um, which is a big win for the project and everyone that lives in the area. It definitely would have been a large disruption, but um, we worked with the uh, Conservation District and, uh, and the Turnpike to get rid of that. So I can report some good news for the project as well. So, well, thanks for coming here. Any other questions from the board? May I have a motion? I make that motion. Okay. And a second? Wait, wait. Can I make an amended motion? Can I say? Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, uh, let's, we have a motion made. Well, I'm going to put the limited temporary time because so, we're making the motion. So add an amended right now? Okay. Amended motion? So I just would like to amend to where Supervisory Pedia's motion so that this is a temporary, we're considering a temporary, um, that we're allowing them temporarily to work a limited night shift schedule on the Southern Beltway project in the Morganza Road quarter for four weeks um, pending, you know, assuming no complaints by residents or police, they can continue through May 2019. And you can leave it open just to check in at the upcoming meeting. So you can do a check in in March and we can, you know. I mean, I would assume things. we would we would probably want to check in with you every month until it's going to be happy to come back and update on the, on the progress of the project as a whole. Um, we believe in you know keeping everyone in the loop and making things run smoother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, very well. So we'll leave it open ended, but accept the motion. Do I have a second on the amended motion? Second. Second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, zero. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. On that note, too, we on this board should give some time or some investigation. Maybe in a future month, the uh, working hours in the township, the seven to seven, and we need to pin that down as far as on the construction projects when that may end in the evening. So, just something to think about that we could address at a future meeting coming up. I'm not following. You want to extend it, or you want to shorten? It? Um, yeah, possibly extend for projects along these lines. We had the other end of the beltway that uh, was operating through a later hour than the 7 to 7. And we need to do something as a board just to address it. Well, so I'm getting on to put something together well, and we'll get a pulse of the board as to what we should be doing there. Well, well, well they did a great they came and asked us. I, I mean, think they didn't ask us or not. Case by case basis, <clears throat> but I don't think we should do a blanket extension for construction. Okay. Just give some thought. We'll, we'll uh, look to bring me something through the town manager. Uh, next item, number 39-2019, consider authorizing the chief of police to start the process of hiring full-time police officers. Chief. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, I have prior to today, I talked to all the members of the board about these resolutions, and I just want to give some details on uh, why, of course, we're asking for additional full-time officers. Uh, as well as you know, we budgeted for two police officers in the 2019 budget. Uh, unfortunately, we were not aware of the school resource officer request and approval. Uh, back in 2018, we did move some officers into different roles due to the workload and demands in the police department. Those two roles were, of course, for the two uh, officers that were budgeted in 2019. So I'm asking for two officers that, again, were already budgeted in the 2019 proposal. And I'm also asking for two additional officers, which would be four, 
because it's school resource officers that are in a school that we agreed to with Kenneth Hill. Those two officers did start today, so we have a total of three officers in the school. With those three officers, uh, we are getting $197,100 a year, and that continues to go up with the contract currently with Camden Hill School District. So basically what I'm asking for is uh, the authorization to start the process to hire the four full-time officers. As well as you know, we follow the civil service rules, so there is some time that we have to advertise for the officers. There will be, of course, the uh, written test, the physical agility, as well as the interviews, so that will take some time to get that process taken care of. Bro. Any questions for the Chief? And for the public's benefit, so the $197,180 paid by Canon McMillan, that is 55% uh, of the total, uh, up, up to this point of the salary of the officers, correct? Correct, Mr. Chairman. And then the uh, uh, four, not very well. Let's go into the, oh, the process we talked about. Uh, this should be possibly hiring or putting in place the officers, what, June, July, August? Yeah, I'm crossing my fingers. We have a, a year field training program. Of course, we make sure the officers know the roads, the laws, the policies, the rules. And of course, uh, we have field training officers that will actually uh, monitor those individuals and do evaluations on the officers. So if we do get a veteran officer that may be already hired in law enforcement, that is a little quicker. But unfortunately, if we do hire somebody just out of the academy, mm -hmm. it may take a little bit of time. But yes, we'll be 100% uh, committed to get these officers on the road, on their own. And I did mention to you earlier that right now we are running two officers a shift. Um, so that is pretty dangerous for these officers. Uh, we're getting about 25 to 30 calls a shift. Um, and if we're running two officers and we have a domestic or an arrest, um, it actually puts these officers out by themselves. So I think it's why it's really important to try to get those positions filled. Okay. And 21 officers currently? Yes, including me. Okay. Well, thank you. Any other questions for the Chief? And may I have a motion, please? I make a motion. Ron Flair made a motion. Second. Second, Cindy Fisher. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Show four to zero. Next item number four zero dash two zero one nine. Consider authorizing the chief police to purchase two four Explorer SUVs. The vehicles are considered in the two thousand and nineteen budget. Chief, again, any okay, summary? I just, I just want to mention that as always, we purchase these vehicles through Photostars, um, and also that these vehicles are being replaced. They have approximately ninety thousand miles on them. Um, those vehicles will be replaced into uh, vehicles we currently have uh, through investigations. It's a Ford Taurus and a Dodge Charger, I believe it's 2010. So it should be, uh, those vehicles will be released and we'll be keeping the two uh, Explorers older ones. Uh, they'll just be put back into a different rotation, so. Well, do we need a dollar amount on that? Uh, they, uh, we budgeted, uh, I can believe, $120,000 in there. It's not going to be that much, but per vehicle, they're about $32,000. And then the equipment installs are about $10,000 a piece. Uh, and then also uh, any additional maintenance we have to put into that vehicle to get on the road. Well, any other questions from the board? We have a motion, please. I make a motion. Second. Ron Flair, second, Cindy Fisher. Any further discussion? 